welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a get ready with me. I pulled out just a bunch of stuff that I thought I would play with for this video. First, I wanted to share with everyone that my husband bought me a green screen for Christmas. He knew that I had been struggling with having a filming setup click ever since we moved into our new house and he thought that this would be a good idea and I think that he is right. I can change my background to this or I can change it to this, or I can change it to this, but I think that I like kind of this style, at least for now. I could even like fake a really nice, pretty background with like really cool decor, and I might do that down the road. So it's pretty exciting. It's a new toy to play with. It's actually kind of tricky. I'm still learning, but I'm, I'm gonna get the hang of it. It's gonna be great. So now, Let's dive into the Get Ready With Me. So I'm gonna start off with a primer and this is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Hydrating. This is what it looks like. And I got this at Costco actually. It was on clearance at Costco. And if you don't know the way you can tell something's on clearance at Costco is that it ends in 97 cents and it has a little asterisk either right after or before the price. But that's how you can tell something's on clearance at Costco. And usually things that are on clearance there are really, really great prices. So this was $9.97. And I will put across the screen how much it costs retail, but I think it's something like $28 or $29. So we're just gonna put this on the face. I'm primed. Next, I'm going to use the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. This, I think, came out a year or two ago, and a lot of really big influencers did reviews on them. So here I am, late to the party, as usual, it seems. I think what I'll do is I'll do the whole half with a beauty blender and half. Maybe I'll try half with my fingers. Let's start out half with my beauty blender and then we'll see where the wind takes me. That looks like a pretty good color match. My hair is growing back from having a baby. It's so exciting. You can see little baby hairs. Oh, I have that really popular like hair mascara here that people are talking about all over the place and it really does work. I'm gonna do this just quickly to get some of those baby hairs out of my way. Okay, back to this. So I have used this before and I remember my first impression was that I like it. I did feel like it felt stickier than I wanted it to and I had to put on quite a bit of powder to get the stickiness to go away. And that bothered me because the idea of the tinted moisturizer was that I didn't have to put much else on is what I wanted. And then I ended up having to put on a whole bunch of powder. We'll see if I still feel that way after this video. Okay, so there's half with a beauty blender. I mean, I think that blends into my neck pretty well. And then on the other side of my face, let's do a brush. I haven't used this one yet. This is the Eco Tools Complexion Buffer Brush. So here we go. So that's the same amount that I put on the beauty blender to do the other side of my face, and it was two pumps. Let's see if that goes just as far. Wait, why am I doing this left-handed? That was weird. Okay, I feel like the brush did eat up a lot of the product and I didn't get nearly as much coverage with a brush. So I like the way the Beauty Blender applied this better. For the sake of this video, actually, if I wanted lighter coverage, I would definitely go with the brush. I don't mind how it looks, but I do see a big difference from one side of my face to the other. So I'm gonna go back to the Beauty Blender and put a teeny tiny bit more, three quarters of a pump. I'm doing this left-handed again. It's because I squirted with my right hand, that's why. to that hairline. I think I may have been wearing this in a video once and someone complimented me on my how my skin looked. But keep in mind, the camera is so forgiving. I've been wearing no foundation in a video. I've been complimented on the way my skin looks. I'm like, wow, it is sticky. It is sticky. It is really sticky. Bummer, because like I said, the whole idea I feel like behind it for me was that I could just kind of wear this and maybe a little blush and a little bronzer and then be good, but it's sticky. I need some powder 
And I think I'm gonna start with powder first. I have this e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in light medium. This is what it looks like. Oh, I really don't think that this is the right shade. Let's do a little test. You know what? Let's try. It's definitely helping with the stickiness right away. It is darkening me up, but I don't think it's darkening me up too much. This side feels good. I need a little more on this side. This is the Milani Powder Bronzer Brush. Okay, I think that I'm still okay as far as the shade goes. I should have waxed my upper lip for this video. It's so sticky. It's a lot better. It's really requiring a good deal of powder. Okay, I think it feels a lot better. Aside from the stickiness though, I do like the coverage. I still can see this little guy, which is like a freckle thing that I have, but I think it does a pretty good job covering up some hyperpigmentation I have here, kind of like in the mask region around my eyes. So it is a very, very nice tinted moisturizer with a fair amount of coverage. Now I'm gonna go in and bronze with the Tardis Pro Glow Palette. And this is what it looks like. It may look familiar to you, especially if you are a FabFitFun member. It's basically like a sculpting palette with some highlighters as well. I am gonna go in with, I think this one here, it's called Sculpt and do just a little bit of bronzing. Oh, that was a lot more bronzer than I meant to put on. Once I put it all over though, it should be okay. Get into that hairline. I've done it before where there's been like obvious gaps between the bronzer and then where my hair starts. And that's it for the bronzer. And then now I want to do my concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Super popular, really highly recommended. This is in the color Light Sand. This is kind of when I thought I was more light warm shade. And this still works though for my under eye. Totally works. Okay, and then I'm just going to start off with this on my under eye and bring it up to my lids too. Because I want to play with a little eyeshadow. That's done. I did put a little bit more than I typically like to, but there you go. And then to set it, I'm gonna use the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in Light. And this is a, supposedly a dupe for the, I'll put a picture of it somewhere. I forget what it's called right now. I'm just using a Luxie Precision Foundation Brush for this to set the under eye. I know it's Jessica Braun who really raves about this powder. So this is the side with and this is the side without. I do like it and just always keep in mind when you're watching Get Ready With Me, it looks so much better on camera than it does in person. Now for blush. This is the Essence The Blush in the shade Befitting. It's a matte blush. I am definitely leaning toward liking matte looks lately and therefore I'm not really gonna do so much of a highlighter. I do have this Goddess Glow from Luxme. I'll probably put a little bit on the high points of my cheeks, but I'm not really feeling the highlighter stuff. And then, so I'm gonna do a little blush. And then I will put on a little bit of the Lux Me Goddess Glow. And I'm gonna use the same Beauty Blender. And I'm just gonna put like a dot of it on that much. So that kind of gives, I feel, more of a glass skin look than a shimmery look, which is what I have been leaning toward lately. Okay, so there it is with the Goddess Glow, and I am gonna go ahead and now, what's next? I guess eyeshadow. Eyeshadow's next. I'm gonna play with the Lorac Pro, the Chocolate Box Palette. It is a really great palette. So we're gonna start off with, I think, Salted Caramel, which is this one right here. Put 
I'm gonna go over to this shade Toasted right here. So this was the first shade we did here and then Toasted and I'm just gonna build up with this one. I'm gonna go with this espresso shade right here. And so I'm just gonna build this up here around the outer V. I'm gonna use this shade Melted. I wanted it to be darker. I have no idea where this brush came from. I think this one was my grandmother's. So we're gonna do Melted. My husband shared with me that he likes a really dark eye look, which I never knew. I don't like this brush very much. I think it's like literally 50 years old, if I'm right about where it came from and how it even got into my possession. I don't even know what brand it is. If it's hers, it's a Mary Kay brush. Mm, I don't like this brush. Eyeshadow is done. We're gonna switch to eyebrows. This is a billion dollar brow pencil that I haven't used really much of. I have used some of it and I don't think I love it. I don't remember loving it. That's why I haven't used it much, but I am going to use it so that we can see what it's like. So this is the tip. It's a little bit thicker than I like. So it definitely matches me. If you haven't seen me do my eyebrows before, I do them kind of against the growth of the hair. Someone advised me to do it that way once and I really do prefer it over going from here outward, which most people do. I just kind of like that I can get in and get down to my skin more easily. And then I just brush it out like this. I'll go over with a brow gel as well. If you haven't noticed, I had my eyebrow pierced a long, long time ago and it did not work out. It just kept getting infected. So I have this scar. I actually do not regret it at all. There's a really great memory associated with it, which is a story for another time. Okay. So that's the Billion Dollar Brow Pencil. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Oh, I wanna... Mm. Then I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Gel. This is also really highly recommended all over the place. This is in the shade Medium. Just to go over the brows, show this to you. I like it. I go back and forth with this one and the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I like the e.l.f. Wow Brow a lot. That one doesn't deposit as much product. So you can kind of see this one is depositing some product that I'm having difficulty managing, but it does go on really well. With the e.l.f. Wow Brow, it doesn't deposit as much product. And so I find I can press harder with it, be sloppier with it, and be done more quickly. But then I have a less dramatic look with my eyebrows because it's just not as intensely pigmented. And then for mascara, I wanna do the Laura Geller Lash Gloss Max. I got this recently and I was just so curious about a spoolie. I've been curious about using a spoolie like this where the end kind of reminds me of one of those medieval weapons. So let's go ahead and see how this applies. I am regretting not doing an eyeliner. Oh well. You know, I think this is quite similar to her Lash Boss mascara, but so far first impression, I like the Lash Boss one better. I feel like it applied more easily, but this one's going on. It's just, you know, I'm, I feel like I'm having to put in a lot of effort to get this to distribute onto my lashes. Ouch. Oh my gosh, talk about medieval torture device. Ooh, I need to clean up the lines here. 
Okay, so do I have the right shade of lipstick? Maybe this Fenty one. Yes. So what I was gonna use is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Lead the Way, which is a really pretty, pretty color, and I like this formula a lot. It's long-lasting and transfer-proof, but I think it doesn't quite match the eyeshadow very well, so we're gonna go in with the Fenty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unbutton, and we're gonna see how this goes. This has the funniest applicator. So let's look at this. Yeah, I, that matches so much better. So look at this applicator. It's got like a flat bottom to it, which I think actually when you apply it, it looks really, really good. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, no lip liner or anything. Wipe off any foundation or powder that could have gotten on my lips. So I got this in the Sephora lip kit, and at first I thought it was the funniest color, and I wasn't into it, but then I wore it out one day, and I really like it. And the formula is great, it's very comfortable, it dries down, and it doesn't transfer, and it lasts a very long time which is 100% my kind of thing. I think it matched. Now I feel like it should have been pinker, like the lead the way color. Well, you know what? We're trying it with this one. How does it look? And then we'll try the other one because again, I'm not going anywhere. It's actually like 9.40 PM and I'm just gonna go wash this off right after this. Okay, so now we're gonna try it with the Maybelline color, see if that matches the eyeshadow a little better. I'm just gonna go right over the lip paint because no rules. I think that this actually does match better. Okay, so that's it. That completes this naturalish look. I put on a little more makeup than I thought I would, but when does that not happen? If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!